I'm Dave Wood, Technical Director at Fowler, and this is set up for dial and test indicators on the Lab Concept Premium 300. Mounted up currently, we have our standard anvils. These are standard equipment that the machine is delivered with. For measuring dial indicators, we have this very simple device which just slides over top of the standard anvil. You can see it's got a, a bore, a clamp, and then there is a step right here for locating the, the device vertically. Mount that right over there. Might require a little bit of jiggling to find home because it is kind of a tight fit on that bore. Lock that down. For this we would want to uh, isolate the movement of our, our standard anvil because we don't want the spring in here battling against that spring. So just a quick lock back there. And we can Come into contact with the indicator, lock the main carriage, and use the fine adjust to come to zero on the dial gauge. Hit zero on our readout. And now we're ready to check the accuracy of the indicator against the position on the gauge. So we just step through that in whichever intervals the size of the indicator requires. Very, very simple setup to run through. I'm just going to break that down quickly. Now, test indicators require a little bit more equipment. For this, we'd actually remove the fixed anvil using a 5 millimeter Allen key. I'll pull these screws right out. And then we have our fixture for holding test indicators here. You can see there's this block which fits in place of the anvil. Use one of the same screws to fasten that in place. And make sure it's good and snug. For the right anvil, we have this device here which slips over the standard uh, anvil set. And this has a gap in here with two contact points, so you want to get your test indicator point between the two, so you can touch off the left and the right side to check it for linearity in both directions. So this just slides over top here and locks in place with a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, like so. As with the other indicator style, you want to make sure that this part of your carriage, the measure, the spring-loaded part, is locked down. Move that over close. And then mount our test indicator, which slides right in one of the dovetail clamps. Get that centered. And then also with an M2.5 millimeter Allen key, this just locks in place. And the rest of the adjustment can be done with thumb screws like so. Get this centered right over top. So very flexible fixture. Can handle just about any size and shape test indicator. Drops down between. And as with the dial indicators, we would come over here into contact. Once we've made contact, we can lock the measuring carriage and then use the fine adjust to run through the actual increments of measurement on the indicator to check the accuracy of our machine. Set that to zero against the accuracy of the dial. And that's indicator measurement on the Lab Concept Premium. Where do you